So let's say that you have done some market research, had a conversation, maybe a, maybe a past client or a potential client has suggested something to you, and you have limited time to like make it into a product or a program, and you just want to like test it more, and maybe you don't have time, you don't want to make time to do any more market research. So what do you do? How do you test an idea? Um, and, and in this case, it's sort of like partly testing whether you would enjoy doing it and partly testing whether or not other people in your audience would enjoy it. So the simplest way is to, yeah, draft, uh, either, you, either you draft, okay, either you draft a sales page and you put it out there and say, would anybody be interested in signing up for this? If you are kind of going in the direction of, I, I do maybe want to sell this. Or if you're saying, I'm not ready to sell something, I just want to test it for free, then you go ahead and still, if you can, have people sign up in some way, like even if they just email you, right? It's like, hey, if anyone's interested, uh, let's just, and, and I'm, typically I like to test things live, like if possible. I'm, I'm going to say this first and then I'll talk about testing things non-live if you, if you don't want to set, a point, set appointments. But Testing it live would mean um, that you carve out, uh, an, you know, whatever, let's say an hour a week for, for some kind of program. Um, let's say you're not ready, whether or not you're ready to charge for it, it doesn't matter. You carve an hour a week, maybe it's a three week, four week program. I would advise you to keep it shorter. Don't not like, oh, I'm going to test out a six month program. No, that's not a test. That's already like your way into it. That's a lot of investment. Four week program is a, is a, is a long, at, at the long end of a test, in my opinion. Um, a one session webinar would be a, a great test too. So anyway, so let's say you carve out an hour a week and then you say, hey folks, uh, anyone interested, um, sign up, attend the, the, the one hour a week if you can. If you can't, I'll send you the recording. Now, this is dependent on if you wanna do the strategy of free to attend paid recording, that's up to you. I'm just talking about a very basic test here. Let's not even worry about that. Sign up. If you don't have a sign-up system, just email me, and I will email you manually a reminder that the that the session is going to happen. Okay, you BCC the five people who who said they were interested, and then hopefully you'll get any, anybody there. But even if nobody shows up, you wait like three to five minutes, right? Even if nobody shows up, you're going to do this test anyway to see if you enjoy it. So you're going to record it. Uh, you know, even if nobody shows up, you set up a Zoom meeting. Nobody shows up. It's okay. You go ahead and record it. You do your program. You do your teaching. You do your um, uh, whatever you're doing, and then and then you send out the recording to those people afterwards. So that's like the simplest test because there's nothing involved other than you carving out some time to do this. So let's say you want to do it the non-live way. Let's say you don't want people there live because maybe you know you get anxious if they're watching you record something. You want to record it uh, without anybody there. Fine. Then you still try to get people to sign up to say, Hey, I'm going to think about doing this four month or four week program. Um, it's going to be, I'm going to make you a, a half hour video a week or whatever. And um, if you're interested to receive this, please, you know, sign up here or send me an email and let me know that you're interested and I'll email you the, the, the thing every week when it's ready. So then you have some accountability that people are waiting for you that by Sunday, Friday, whatever day you, you said, that you're going to email them the program of the week. So now you you have a couple people who are expecting it, and maybe maybe you you even say ideally that hey, I'm going to be selling this in the future. I might so, but I, I I'd be happy to have you join for free for the next four weeks if you're willing to give me some feedback. You know, uh, once a week, even if you just take three minutes to say I liked it, uh, or how about this? Or I have a question about that. So that way, this is how I would do it because then I have, I have some accountability and I have hopefully some feedback as well. Um, so I think it's fine. I think it's a fine way to test. Um, you know, my, my preference is to do a bit more market research to see if I, I can confirm that interest in a couple of people. But if you, if you just get interest from one person to tell, asking you to do something or in, you know, saying, saying that they're interested, you can just put it out to your audience. And even without market research, you're essentially seeing if anyone signs up, that is market research without having to have any conversations. So hope that helps. And let's say that you want to later 
set it up as a product. Um, the, the simplest way, again, if when you're doing the test, you don't know if you're going to sell it as a product. Yeah, that's the purpose of, of doing the test. So you're recording it. You're sending it to the people who are kind enough to give you feedback along the way. And then once everything's recorded, then, well, the way I do it um, is I put those video recordings uh, as a YouTube unlisted playlist. I, I upload those videos to YouTube as unlisted videos. And then I put those unlisted videos in an unlisted playlist. And then I set up uh, whatever shopping cart you, know, you might have on your website. Um, people, you know, I use PayPal. Uh, anyway, the people, you, you know, that's a different conversation, but you set up a shopping cart, people buy it. The shopping cart means that when people buy it, they get sent an email and that email basically gives them the link to the YouTube playlist. <laughs> that's the simplest way to like sell a, a video product. Um, if you don't want to use YouTube, you could use well, Google Drive. You can upload your videos to Google Drive and have it hosted there more privately. Um, it's really the same amount of privacy because you're on Google Drive, you, you upload the video, you share it. Anyone with a link can, 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 can see the video. It's essentially the same thing as YouTube unlisted, but Google Drive is a little bit more, less distracting maybe because with YouTube, you know, they could suggest the videos at the side or whatever. With, YouTube, with Google Drive, it's just you know, Google Drive. So um, yeah, so give it a try.